Hello and welcome to our Fascial Fix for Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome affects the carpal tunnel, which is a bony tunnel in your wrist. It's important because one of your nerves passes through this on the way to your hand and fingers. For some people, if this becomes restricted, it's important to actually release this area to prevent damage to the nerve. However, for lots of people, they can get the similar symptoms without actually having any restriction happening in the carpal tunnel itself because it's actually happening upstream in the neck and the shoulder. So if you have carpal tunnel type sim symptoms, but it's not actually been diagnosed as carpal tunnel, it's much more likely it's going to be fascial restrictions that have formed in your neck, your shoulder, and down through your arm. In this video, we share some simple myofascial exercises that can help to alleviate some of your symptoms, reducing your pain and other issues that you may be feeling. In this exercise, we're going to do a stretch for the side of your neck. To do this, make sure that your arms and your shoulders are nice and heavy and relaxed and then you're just going to tip your head to the right side so that your right ear comes towards your shoulder. When you do this at home it's a good idea to start by doing this looking in a mirror because quite often people start to lift their shoulder up as they do this exercise in which case you lose the benefit of the stretch. So making sure that your shoulders stay nice and heavy and relaxed throughout this stretch. And so only go as far as feels comfortable for you. If you start to feel pain or discomfort in your neck or your shoulder or your jaw, then just ease back out of the stretch a little bit. The idea is to allow time for the tissues to release and let go. And as you do this stretch, you may feel it more in your jaw or in your ear, maybe in your neck or even in your shoulder or your arm. Wherever you're feeling it is absolutely fine. Just allow time for things to release and let go. If you feel you would like a deeper stretch, then bring your right arm up and place it on your head. So it's not pulling your head, it's just allowing the weight of your arm to create a slightly deeper stretch. And as long as you're here for at least a couple of minutes, then the tissues will start to release and let go. Then coming out of the stretch, just give your shoulders a little roll just to loosen and assimilate the stretch. And then we're going to do the other side. So bringing your left ear over towards your left shoulder, making sure that your shoulders stay nice and heavy and relaxed. And just allowing time for the tissues to release and let go. And wherever you feel the stretch, that's fine for you. The longer you do the stretch, the more it will start to spread throughout your body. And in order to create a deeper stretch, you can bring your left hand up, place it on your head, not pulling, just allowing the weight of your arm to create a slightly deeper stretch. And again, be here for a couple of minutes to allow time for the tissues, the muscles and the fascia to start to let go. In this exercise, I'm going to use one myofascial ball on the side of my neck. I'm going to place it on the side of my neck, just under my ear, and then I'm going to lie on this on my side. So 
So when you're here, in order to feel an actual pressure from the ball, make sure that you pull your shoulder forwards. And this just means that your neck can rest on the ball. And just allow time for your body to start to relax around the ball. The area on the side of your neck can get very tight. There are nerves here which go down into your arms and these can get tight and start to cause problems in your arm. And equally, tightness in the side of your neck here can cause problems in terms of jaw pain and headaches. So it's a good area to release. And by lying here, for at least a couple of minutes, it's allowing time for the fascia to release and let go. If you find that lying on the floor is too difficult for you, then you can also do this exercise on your bed. And just allowing your body to relax around the ball and get a sense of the tissue starting to soften as you do so. And once you've been here for at least a couple of minutes, then you can do the same thing on the other side. So again, as you lie here, pull your shoulder forwards so your arm is out of the way and that you get a sense of your neck being able to relax onto the ball. Make sure that your body feels comfortable and whether you're on the floor or on your bed, that you can just relax around the ball. As long as you're here for at least a couple of minutes, then the tissues will be starting to release and let go. Sometimes you may feel sensations that may go down into your arm or up into your head and your jaw. So whatever you're feeling is fine, that's right for you. Just allowing time for the tissues to release relax and let go. So staying here for a couple of minutes allows time for the fascia and the soft tissues to start to release. And you may notice changes, sensations that come and go, and that's all fine. That's all part of the process of your tissues releasing. In this exercise, we're going to do a forearm stretch. There's lots of different ways in which you can stretch your forearms but this is probably one of the easiest ways because you can do this on any kind of tabletop or your desk. You can also do this if you're sitting in an armchair. All you need to have is your arm resting so that the hand is actually off the surface of whatever it's on. So in this case, my arm is just resting on this tabletop and my hand is off the end of it. So I just let my arm be nice and relaxed and then I can bring my other hand and just place it on the back of the hand to create a nice gentle stretch. So I'm pressing both hands back towards the desk. This creates a stretch in the top of my forearm. In here there's lots of little muscles, they can get restricted. They can get irritated, tired with overuse, for example, lots of computer work, and they can get stuck together. And as they stick together, their fascial sheaths also stick together. And this can start to cause different sensations for different people. Sometimes it can be pain and restriction in the forearm itself. It could be tennis or golfer's elbow, because these muscles all attach into your elbow. It could be numbness, tingling and pain in your hand and fingers. 
So whatever is going on, this stretch is a really nice way of starting to open out the forearm and release some of the restrictions that may have formed in these little muscles. So the muscles on the back of your forearm are called the extensors and their job is actually to extend your hand up. So by stretching this way, you are creating a stretch that comes all the way over the back of the hand, the wrist and into the forearm. On the other side are the muscles that flex your hand and your wrist. So to work on these, you just turn your hand over, turn your arm over. Again, just allow your hand to relax, so your forearm's nice and relaxed. And I can bring my other hand here, and I'm just going to make sure that it's over my fingers and my thumb. And so I can create a stretch that I'll start to feel coming over my wrist and up into the underneath of my forearm. This area is also important because in here you have some of the muscles that work your thumb. So if you're having pain or restrictions in your thumb, then stretching here can help to release these. And as long as you're in these stretches for at least a couple of minutes, then the tissues will be starting to release and let go. And you can just allow time Deepen the stretch and create a sense of release. And then we can do the same on the other side. So again, on this side, I'm just going to start from my arm nice and relaxed, my hands relaxed, and I'm going to place the other hand on top and the back of the hand. So we're going to just create a stretch with the both hands coming back in towards the desk. So you'll start to feel the stretch coming up into the back of your forearm. You may feel it more around your wrist or more in your fingers or more in your elbows. So wherever you're feeling it, that's fine. That's your release pattern. And as long as you do this for at least a couple of minutes on each side, then the tissues will be starting to release and let go. And done over time, this can help to undo some of the restrictions that may have formed and be sticking the little muscles in your forearms together, which causes some of the symptoms that people feel. So once I've done this for a couple of minutes, then I'm going to turn my forearm over and we can do the same thing on the other side. So on this side, just allowing my hand to relax and release, just be nice and soft. Then I can come in with my other hand, just place it on top, making sure that I am covering the thumb and the fingers and just creating a nice stretch into the underside of my forearm. So say this is a really nice one to do at home if you're watching TV in an armchair. Very easy and it's nice just to do this for a few minutes, maybe a few times a day. Also, you can do this at work, just take a little break and then you can just stretch out your forearms on both sides, which gives them a break from computer work, mouse work. 